Hello everyone, it's week two of the Paper Mania prompt in the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium, and the challenge for this week is paper embellishments. Now, I've decided that I'm going to make some butterfly embellishments. You, of course, can do any type of paper embellishment that you like, um, but those of you that have followed me for a long time, I don't know whether you can remember these butterflies here that I made several years ago. Um, I've only got um, a few left, as you can see, but I get asked for ideas for butterfly embellishments embellishments all the time so that's what I thought we'd focus on today. Now I've got some supplies here I've got some um, wall art stickers that I bought from either Amazon or eBay several years ago I've had these in my stash for a long time um, they're just paper stickers and so I thought we might be able to do something with these that was what I um, intended to use them for and have never got round to it. Um, I've also got some um, napkins here with butterfly images on so just a few of these that I might be able to use I probably won't use all of these today but I'm just trying to give you ideas and suggestions as to the types of things that you can use I've also got a free butterfly download these are vintage butterfly flies from the graphics fairy I'll leave the links to the graphics fairy in the description box below you just need to register and she has several free printable um, options including these two sets of butterfly images here which I think are absolutely fabulous and I've also got um, some butterfly I um die cuts as well that again I've had in my stash for absolutely ages I've got two sheets of these these are Anita's A4 pearlescent um, flutter die toppers I don't know whether they still sell these because I've got a feeling these were um, in fact they are they're do crafts and do crafts is no longer in business but that does not mean to say that you can't get hold of them so you know do have a look on eBay or Amazon um, and Google Anita's A4 pearlescent flutter dies toppers if you know you want something um, like this you can of course google free downloadable butterfly images as well there are just so many options i'm going to start off by doing something with the free printables because this is something that we all have access um, to now you can see that i've printed these butterflies off on several different types of paper um, my printer won't take anything heavier than 160 gsm paper um, this is 160 and so is this here um, but i I didn't have any white cardstock the um the the thinnest i had was 250 gsm and that just um, gets jammed in my printer so what i've decided to do is um thicken my piece of paper up by gluing um, a sheet of paper onto the back so what i'm going to do is just use a glue stick just so that you can see the different um, options now i can just about see in fact if i grab a pencil i'll be able to make myself some marks so i can see that the edge of my butterflies is here so what i'm going to do is apply some glue stick to my background like like this just making sure that i get glue completely within that line there and this way i can thicken my paper up myself um, and just give give myself some heavier weight butterfly embellishments so you know if you don't have cardstock it doesn't matter there is a way um, around it it's just um, a bit fiddlier that's all and then I'm just going to glue that onto the back like that use a bone folder just to make sure that that's burnished down properly like that and then I can just fussy cut that out and so I know that um, I've definitely got glue within this area that I'm cutting out now, which has just nicely thickened up that piece of paper. So we can bin that. We don't need um, that anymore. Just make sure that that's burnished down. And then I'm going to cut these into smaller pieces again. So we'll have four butterflies here like this. And then I'm just going to use a small pair of nail scissors. Let me just make sure I've got these the right way around. Does it really even matter? And I'm just going to fussy cut these out. Now, the easiest and quickest way to do it is to move your piece of paper and keep your scissors in the same place. This is so quick. Um, I find fussy cutting quite therapeutic. So you can see that I'm just wiggling the paper around and my scissors aren't, aren't moving. So you can just be really quick about this. So I'm just twizzling my paper round like this. Cut away um, any excess that, um, that gets in the way as you go. Coming into this 
little awkward bit here and again twizzling the paper around not being too fussy about this because we're going to ink around the edges of the butterfly anyway and then when we get into the body of the butterfly here we'll just create um, a point just to get into that fiddly area get rid of that move the paper around that curve like this it seems really easy but i know that a lot of people make fussy cutting a lot more difficult than it really needs to be oh as you can see i've just gone butterfly crazy and cut out loads and loads of these butterflies so this one here is the one that was done on the craft cardstock that's the one on cream um, these two are both on white where i glued two pieces of just regular copier 80 gsm copier paper together and you can just see how different um, they look so i just think it's really interesting printing things out on different types of paper because you just get a completely different look now i want to just give these a bit of something just to make them look a bit more interesting so i'm going to use my gold um, pen this is the deco color premium um, prime premio pen um, it's by uchida i absolutely love this pen it's just gorgeous it's so vibrant and gold and i always keep a scratch piece of paper off to my right hand side just so that um, i can get the pen to work so i've given it a good shake i'm just going to activate the ink and what i want to do now is just use this to add some some um, splatters so let me just do um, a few at a time let's do these ones these ones here I want gold um, splatters over all of them so we'll just um, have them displayed like this and I'm just going to tap on there like like this I just need to activate that a bit more so some lovely gold gold splatters just to add just a little bit of something to make these a bit more interesting splattered all of my butterflies and this is how they look so I'm just going to move these off now to um, dry because of course this is an oil-based um, pen so it's just going to take um, a little while for them to set I've got um, got them all over my desk but I just think these are absolutely gorgeous to bring back my gold splattered butterflies I love how these look just look how much more interesting they look now now what I want to do is I've got that um, paintbrush that I was using um, whilst I was splattering and I just want to give these some dimension so I'm just curling the ends of the wings like like this just to give each of the butterflies a bit more dimension and as I've said I'll do this to all of them so just curling them over just on the ends like like this using the thinner end for the top of the butterfly curled all of my butterflies and if they're not quite as curly as you want them take a smaller paintbrush and just curl them a little bit more just on the very the very ends and then i'm just bending the center in like this and that's just given them some really lovely dimension i think those are gorgeous now just as a final touch just because i chopped off the antenna which was deliberate just because it would have been far too fussy um, for me to fiddle um, around with i'm just going to add some wire you don't need any special tools for this apart from the wire itself i'm going to cut um, a small amount off and i'm just going to in fact what i shall do what have i done with it um in fact i'll just use the end of the I want a thinner paintbrush actually here we go we'll go for this paintbrush I'm just going to wrap the antenna round the tip of this paintbrush and I'm just going to give it a twist like this and then I can pull it out um, like like that and then I'm just going to use a pair of tweezers just to squeeze that end together like that just to flatten it there we go and that has formed the antenna for my butterfly I just need to flatten um, that out a bit more because I need to glue this down to the back of my butterfly so I want to make sure that that's um, that's nice and nice and flat there and then I can just glue um, this on I just want these to be just a little bit um, wonky not too straight and then I can just stick these down to the back of my butterfly like this which way round do I want it I think it would be better that way and I am just 
just going to use a tiny bit of diamond glaze to um, do that. Glossy accents would work in much the same, much the same way. Of course, my end is stuck. Let me go and grab a pin. Just added a tiny dab of diamond glaze just there. I'm going to pop that on like that and again I'm just going to have to set that um, aside for it to to dry and I'm going to do this with with all of them and this is the fiddly part oh come on you so I'm just going to set that aside to dry like that just do one more so again I've got another piece of wire I'm just going to wrap it around the end of the paintbrush so one two twists like that that's fine um, then I'm just going to flatten that with my tweezers get them the right way around so that it's easy for me to squish it down and that's just so that it will fit without showing on the abdomen of the the back of the butterfly so I'm just going to play um, around with this give that um, a bit of a tighter tighter twist there we go like just like that and then which one should we add this to one of the um, smaller ones perhaps so that's going to go on there like that so I'm just going to add a dab of diamond glaze just there like that you don't need too much just make sure that that's flattened out nicely because otherwise it won't um, stick as well and just pop pop that on there like that and it's just a case of setting that off to one side for the glue to dry. Now I just want to have a go and see what I can do with these butterflies here. I think I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I got two packs of these and I've got an idea. So I'm just going to remove a couple from the pack. Let's um, just snip these out like this. I'm going to have two of those. I want to try some of the um, smaller ones um, as well. Perhaps this one here because that one's already um, popped out. Um, and we'll just see what we, we can do with these. So I'm just going to pop a few of them out of this um, sheet. I've chosen a few doubles that I quite like um, and because they've come off die cut, die cut sheets they've got little notches on them here which I want to get rid of and I just think that the quickest and easiest way to do this is just to go round it with um, a nail file. I can round off the edges and just tidy them up if I if I want to so I'm going to do this first. Rounded the edges off and neatened these up and now what I want to do is just go around the edges just with some archival ink in black and that's because you can probably see it on this one here because these are die cuts we've got um, a white border in fact actually I'm going to do that one um, in espresso truffle I think that black might be um, a bit harsh let's do that one in in brown because the body's more of um, a brown color so I'm just going to go all around the side this will save me having to um, chop that white um, edge off we can just disguise it um, I've missed a bit um, of one of the die cut bits here as well so I'm just going to go all the way um, around these in either brown um, or black. And if you're wondering why my voice is so hoarse, my son has just been uh, trying to terrorise me um, with a dead beetle that he found on the carpet. And um, he threw it at me and then picked it up and threw it at me again and found it hysterically funny. Of course, I was screaming my head off and now I've nearly lost my voice. So there you go. My children can be horrid at times. <laughs> that looks much better. I've gone around the edges of my butterflies. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. Now you can see that these have got um, an iridescence. These are pearlescent um, butterflies, so they already look really pretty. But I do want some splatters on these as well. So I've pulled out some of the Lumiere paints. Now, these I bought a long time ago. These were a mistake. I thought they were um, um, alcohol inks, and they're not. They're light-bodied um, metallic acrylic. And from the comments that were on Amazon, I was not the only one that made um, a mistake. I've never used these and the colours are just absolutely gorgeous. I plan to use them on the um, jelly plate and I've just never got round to it. So I'm just going to put um, a small amount um, in these wells, some gold and some of the purple as well. This one here is called Sunset Gold. These come in a set and this one here is um, Halo Violet Gold. Um, if I can get the lid off this one, that is. And I want to water these down with a tiny bit um, of water 
water as well and I just want smaller splatters than the um, gold ones that I added on the previous butterflies so I've just got my spray water bottle I don't know how much I'm going to need so we'll start off with just um, a little bit I'll start off with the purple ones first just look at that that is absolutely gorgeous 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 um let's see how well these splatter and i'm just going to go for the same two colors on all of these butterflies so let me just um arrange them so that they're spaced apart like like this splatter 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 now you're not going to be able to see the purple quite as well on the purple butterflies um especially sort of on the table like this but you will see it on the pink ones here and I like the fact that they're smaller splatters than the large gold ones I had on the previous butterflies, which I think go really well with the other ones, but I wasn't sure I would like it so much on these. So I'll continue with the, um, the purple and then I'll add some gold. This is what they're like with just that purple on. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how beautiful these are. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's added so much to the butterflies, just really jazz them up a little. Now I've given these a blast with the um, heat gun as well. I just want to add a tiny bit more, I think, as well of the gold. Um, another squirt of water and I'm going to do exactly the same thing now with the with the gold so where's my paint brush that I'm using to tap on let's just give this a mix I can't believe I haven't used these I've had these in my stash for oh my gosh probably about three or four years it was when I first bought alcohol ink so four years five years probably um, and I put them away thinking well I could have sent them back of course to Amazon and decided um, not to thought I'll use them and they've just been in a Ziploc bag ever since um, and I'm determined to start using some of the supplies that I've got that I haven't touched for a long time rather than buying new new stuff I've just got so many things, so, you know, I'm going to try my hardest to bring them out more, more often. My butterflies are dry. I just love these so much. So I'm going to start assembling them and I don't know whether you've guessed. I'm going to layer these one on top of the other just, you know, for something, something different. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to have these um, slightly off. So let me just see if I can show you just so that you can see um, the butterfly that's um, underneath. And then, of course, I can bend these um, as well like this. I've already wrapped these, shaped these around a paintbrush just as I did with the previous ones so just by twisting the ends of the wings around um, a, a paintbrush um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to let me just have a look and see how I want to um, to do this I want it there like like that I'm just going to apply a bit of diamond diamond glaze on the underside one just leaving a, a gap at the bottom where I don't need any glue and I'm just going to stick this on top like so I should have done that actually on a on a piece of um, deli paper I have some here as well just so that I don't end up getting in a horrible gluey gluey mess so I'm going to do this to all of them like that so I can um, just set that off to one side you can see it's wanting to slide around all over the place so I'm just going to set that off to one side to dry. I love how pretty those are. They're just gorgeous. And then we can add the um, antenna. So here are my finished die cut butterflies. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. Let me just show you the wonderful shimmer. Let me stand up just so that I can see whether it's picking it up in the camera. Just look how pretty they are. And I love the dimension of stacking two together as well. These would make the most wonderful focal image on a project. So that's those. I love the tiny ones as well. They look so cute. And let me just show you the original die cut pack as well so that you can see how much difference it makes just layering them and adding a few splatters and of course the metal antenna just look how much more interesting these ones um, look I love those 
course, there's these vintage style butterflies here. And I think these are my absolute favourites. Now, just to remind you, these were printed out from the images that I got from the Graphics Fairy. These are just free printable images. The black and white ones here at the top, I absolutely love these, are all from this page um, here. So there we go. That, where's the small one? That's that small one there. You can see I've inked around the edges of all of them. These are some of the darker ones. I love these. I think they're gorgeous. And then all of the ones at the bottom are all printed out from this sheet here. And of course, I printed them on different types of paper. So craft cardstock, cream cardstock, and then two layers of white um, AT GSM paper, just because I didn't have any 160 GSM white cardstock. And I love how the different types of paper give you different looks as well these are just absolutely gorgeous um, I love the metal antenna as well that you saw me do I just think these are so much fun and just adding to you know projects vintage uh, pages I just think these will be absolutely lovely as well as just being wonderful gifts to give away in happy mail I really do hope that this has given you some ideas as to how you can make your own butterfly embellishments in a really inexpensive and easy way. Of course, I'll leave the link to the Graphics Fairy in the description box below as well. She offers a premium service as well as many, many free printable downloads as well, such as these. So do go and have a look and you'll find a search engine in the top right hand corner. Just search for butterfly images and I'm sure you'll be able to find something. So just to remind everybody, the challenge for this week is paper embellishments. You don't have to do butterflies and I will leave the link to my embellishment playlist in the description box below because I've got loads of other videos um, sharing ideas for embellishments, some of them um, with paper as well. Um, if you click on the playlist, it brings up um, a thumbnail, a photo of all the different videos so that you can pick and choose those that might be of interest to you. But if you enjoyed my video today, as always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. For anybody who's interested in following along with the challenge, I'll leave the link to the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium, in the description box below. So please do feel free to come along and join us. But thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.